Yo everyone, how's it going and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about the Portuguese Grand Prix for the 2021 season and in my opinion I think it was quite a good race. I don't think it was on the level of Imola and Bahrain but I think we had some good overtaking, we had some good action and some interesting things strategy wise um, but yeah I thought it was I thought it was really good. Um, like I said it kept me, kept me entertained I thought. I thought. Uh, definitely not as as good as uh, Imola, that's for damn sure. Nothing I don't think will top for that. Uh, we need a bit of rain in another race, I think. But uh, nevertheless, we're going to be going team by team again like we did in the last one, just because I think it was a bit easier to talk about. Because when I go randomly, I, feel, I just get confused and I miss things out. So um, we're going to be talking about this um, team by team. So let's get into it. So starting off with Mercedes then, uh, they seem to have sorted out a few of the issues that they had, obviously locking out the grid uh, in qualifying. Hamilton had a, a really, really good race. Um, I thought he was um, very quick, um, did some amazing moves, um, obviously got caught out a little bit on the restart from Max Verstappen. But uh, that move that he did around the outside of Bottas into Turn 1, that was absolutely brilliant and a uh, very, very good move there from Lewis. And then after that, really, after he got past Bottas, um, sort of controlled the race um, from then on in. Uh, he didn't really want to push for fastest lap at the end, which I was surprised about. I thought, uh, knowing Lewis, he normally goes um, all in. And I, th I thought, because everyone else did, I thought he was going to as well. But he didn't seem phased by it, which was fair enough. Uh, Bottas, on the other hand, um, obviously got pole. And everyone thought, oh, this is Bottas 1.5 or whatever they call him <laughs> when he's having a good day. But um, yeah, it sort of struggled um, in the race. Well, the start for him was pretty good, but then sort of struggled after the restart. Oh, well, once Lewis got past him, um, just sort of struggled. Obviously, he pitted. Uh, well, Max pitted, then he pitted. And then obviously, just came out ahead of Max. But then obviously, had cold tyres and Max was able to pass him again. So yeah, and then finished third, obviously got the fastest lap at the end as it got taken away from Verstappen. But yeah, overall, quite a good weekend for Mercedes, but um, Bottas, yeah, could have could have been a bit better for him. But again, I, think, I don't think he's going to be in the championship fight unless he starts getting those wins. Moving on to Red Bull, uh, obviously I've already touched on Max a few times already in this video. Max um, did, all I, did all he could really, obviously finishing ahead of one Mercedes, I think, was the best for him. Um, I thought he tried his best with Lewis, but Lewis was just, like I said, in a league of his own once he got past um, uh, Bottas after the restart. Um, but yeah, I think quite a frustrating weekend for Max as well, obviously, getting that time deleted in Q3. That put him on the back foot, which only uh, put him P3 for the start of the race. Um, and then obviously got that taken away, that lap taken away on the final lap, which... Um, Again, he was uh, quite angry about in uh, in the post race interviews, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, no, again, an all right, an all right weekend for Max and Red Bull proving once again that they're up there with Mercedes, which is what we like to see. Uh, Perez had a much better weekend, obviously compared to Imola. He was spinning off all, all kinds of places. Obviously, it was a it was difficult track conditions, but today I thought he kept it clean. He kept it. It's just what he needs uh, when you're a number two driver at Red Bull, you need a fourth place finish and that's all you can really ask for for Perez. Um, moving on to Lando Norris, uh, McLaren, Norris again had a, a a brilliant weekend, didn't do as well in qualifying, another seventh place, uh, but in the race finishing fifth, a pretty faultless weekend from him, I think that's all you can ask considering how far Mercedes and Red Bull are ahead of the rest of the grid. Um, so yeah, finishing best of the rest. And then Daniel Ricciardo obviously had an absolute shocker in qualifying. I think he finished 16th in qualifying. Um, but made his way up into the points in 9th. So I think that's a very respectable uh, drive from Daniel Ricciardo. Obviously still trying to get used to the car and stuff as well. But I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to be too harsh on Ricciardo because I do like him a lot. I rate him very highly. Um, but it's not the first time. Obviously he's gone to a new team again. So... Um, yeah, I think good, good, uh, good drive from Ricardo. Uh, now we'll talk about Ferrari. Ferrari were there or thereabouts. Um, Leclerc again, putting in a very good, um, race, uh, for Ferrari. Uh, Sainz would be very disappointed, I think, with 11th. Um, obviously he out-qualified Leclerc for the first time this, uh, season. 
but yeah, I'm not really sure what happened to Science really. Um, but yeah, finished 11th, which is, I think he's going to be very disappointed with that. Alpine had a, an exceptional weekend, uh, especially Ocon, who made it through to Q3, uh, finished 7th in the race. And yeah, his teammate right behind him as well in 8th. So yeah, definitely improvements for uh, Alpine. I think they had some upgrades this weekend. Um, so I think that's that's definitely helped them in the uh, battle for well hopefully third obviously that midfield is so tight so they could still if they keep scoring like this and well trying to get or get a few more points over mclaren then and ferrari then they could be in the title for third so yeah good weekend from alpine uh alpha tari not really much to say on them this weekend uh pierre gasly only picking up one point for the team in 10th uh, Yuki Sonoda in 15th didn't really do a lot all weekend um, but this was a track that he's never really raced on before so he, he wasn't he he didn't have um, high expectations for this weekend but uh, Gasly yeah a bit disappointing from him as well I think he started 6th uh, or 7th um, but yeah only one point for Alpha Tari this weekend and obviously coming off uh, Imola which wasn't great either I think they'll be they'll be kicking themselves but they'll definitely want to bounce back I think in, in Spain in a, in a week's time We'll go on to Aston Martin now. Aston Martin. Pfft. They had a stinker. Uh, again, 13th and 14th for Vettel and Stroll. Just didn't seem to be anywhere this weekend. We didn't even see hardly any of them during the race. Um, I, again, watched it on highlights because I was working. No no points again for Aston Martin. They were well off the pace. Um, Vettel sort of was going backwards. In the Grand Prix, made it obviously to Q3 for the first time in the Aston Martin, but yeah, just again not not great from not great from Aston Martin. Moving on to Alfa Romeo, they uh, well obviously Kimi uh, was out on lap two. Um, my opinion of that was I thought it was just a racing incident. Um, I thought it was Giovinazzi's fault, but with Raikkonen's experience, it was a bit of a clumsy coming together really, but. I don't think anyone was particularly to blame, but it was a bit weird how G Gianna Vinazzi went to the right and then slowly creeped to the left. But um, yeah, quite a good try from Giovinazzi, I guess. 12th, obviously didn't get any points, but the Alfa Romeo is a bit weird. It's they obviously had a good first race, but not, not um, showing any potential in the rest of the races. Uh, Williams, I was really disappointed uh with george russell um i th i was really hoping he was going to get his first points this weekend obviously uh, qualified 11th just outside of q3 which is amazing um but yeah only finished uh, 16th unfortunately i just don't think they had the pace um unfortunately in the race which was a shame um and again nicholas latifi didn't really do much um again uh so yeah a bit of a disappointing weekend from williams but um they're they're improving though they're, they're much better than they have been the last few years so so again it's 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 good to see and then Haas um yeah again not much to say Mick Schumacher um finishing ahead of uh, Latifi in 17th so it was a good race from uh, Mick Schumacher Mazepin just get out of the sport honestly man you were absolutely donkey's years behind in the race I think he was about to be lapped by his teammate um as well which was ridiculous and then obviously hold up held up uh, Perez I think it was uh, coming to sort of the end of the Grand Prix um, it was really stupid get that man out of the sport I swear to god um, and then yeah that was pretty much it he finished in 19th obviously last um, but yeah not much to say on Haas again obviously they've, uh, they're not going to be upgrading anything this week, uh, this this whole season so yeah not much to say on them again but um yeah good good weekend for mick and um i saw at the end of the race as well um him just giving a thumbs up to sebastian and then and again in park Ferme, giving him a little fist bump as well so it's good to see they have a nice little relationship going on there between uh, him and uh, vessel um but yeah that's it guys for today's video please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you are new let me know what you thought of the race uh, your opinions on what happened and uh, yeah, I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.